This is part 92 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss one of the common issues that we will frequently run into when using ASP.NET MVC. Why model binding does not work as expected when we submit a razor form that contains a for each loop. Let's understand this with an example. At the moment, we are on the home page. Let's navigate to list users page and then click edit on one of these users and when we click this manage roles button we are redirected to this manage user roles page where we see the list of all roles within our application now if the user that we are currently editing if we want him to be a member of any of these roles simply check the checkbox otherwise leave it unchecked and at the moment we are in manage user roles action method of the administration controller and to this action method we are passing the id of the user that we are currently editing and if we take a look at the administration controller manage user roles action that responds to the http get request is right here and this method receives user id from the url as a parameter the first thing that we are doing here is retrieving the user from the underlying database table if the user variable is null then we know we have not found the user so we display not found view if we have found the user we are creating a new list of user roles view model keep in mind this list is going to be the model for the view and then we retrieve the list of all roles that we have in our application and using a for each loop to loop through each role and as we are looping through we are creating a new instance of user roles view model class and populating the required properties like role id role name and whether if that role is already selected or not once we have all the properties populated we add this instance to the model so keep in mind the model for the view is going to be this list once we have that list ready we pass it to the view so if we take a look at the view Notice, as expected, the model is a list of user roles view model. And here is the important bit to understand. We are using a for loop to loop through this list. So as we are looping through for each object that we have in the list, we are asking Reza to generate this set of input elements. So here we've got two hidden input elements for storing role ID and role name. Next, we want this checkbox and for that we are using this input element and binding it to e selected boolean property and then next to the checkbox we want to display the role name so for that we are using this label and binding it to the role name property and as we scroll down the update button is right here which is of type submit so when we click the update button this form will be posted to the server and here is the manage user roles action that handles the incoming HTTP POST request. Here is the important bit to keep in mind. This action has an incoming parameter of type list. So model binding in ASP.NET Core MVC is going to automatically bind the values that we have in these input elements to this list action parameter. And to confirm that, let's place a breakpoint on this line 71 and then run our project in debug mode. We are on the home page. Let's navigate to list users page, click edit and then manage roles. On this view, we've got three roles. Now let's view the page source. Let me zoom this in a bit. Notice the names of these HTML input elements at the moment on our view we've got three roles so we've got three hidden input elements for example for storing role id here's the first one second one and the third one and the same is true for role name first one second one and third one and to make these names unique we also have an integer indexer in their name zero for the first role id one for the second one two for the third one and the same is true even for role name and e selected input elements so this is a clue to the model binder in asp.net core mvc that it has to map the values from these elements to the list action parameter now notice the for attribute of this label and the id attribute of this input element 
the values match and we know this input element is for the checkbox since the id and for attribute values match when we click on this label the correct checkbox gets checked or unchecked and the same is true even for this label and this input element notice their id and for attribute values match so when we click on the label notice the correct checkbox gets checked or unchecked at this point let's click the update button our breakpoint is set and when I hover the mouse over this list action parameter notice it has got three elements and if we take a look at one of the elements notice the values from the HTML input elements on the form are automatically bound to the respective properties all this is happening through the magic of model binding in ASP.NET MVC at this point if we continue the execution the data gets updated now let's stop debugging instead of using a for loop in our view let's use a for each loop so for each role in the model our model is a list of user roles view model we are asking Reza to generate input elements for role ID role name and e-selected properties with this change in place let's again run our project in the debug mode if we take a look at the page source now notice the ID attribute value of this first checkbox input element it is role underscore is selected and we have the same value for this label for attribute role underscore is selected and the same is true even for this second pair of checkbox and label for attribute and the same is true even for the third pair of the checkbox and the label for attribute as a result notice what happens when I click on any of the labels here only the first checkbox gets checked or unchecked this is happening because of the duplicate ID and for attribute values if we take a look at the name attribute values of these input elements notice they are duplicated as well for this first role ID input element the name is role dot role ID and we have the same name for the second one and the third one as well and the same is true even for the role name input element so as a result of this the model binder in ASP.NET MVC does not know it has to bind the values from these input elements to the list parameter we have on our controller action at this point if we click the update button our breakpoint is hit and when I have the mouse over this model parameter notice we have zero elements in the list this is because the model binder is not able to bind the values from the HTML elements on the form to this list parameter on our controller action so with a for loop the generated input element names are unique and contains an integer indexer in the name so the model binder knows it has to map the values from these input elements to the list parameter on the controller action with a for each loop the names are not unique and hence the model binder does not know it has to map the values to the list parameter on the controller action that's it in this video thank you for listening